All right, so when we were in Changanola uh, about a month ago or so, we thought, hey, maybe we could order a pizza from this Domino's that's over here and see how it is. And because, like, I thought all Domino's were, like, to go or whatever. And obviously, I'm not going to call them on the phone, and I didn't see a WhatsApp. But there was a way to order online. Shut up. So, look at this. I've got a pepperoni um, in my cart. And I can finalize my order. Like so. I mean, literally, you just go to the Domino's, like, Panama app or website or whatever and you just follow the instructions and uh, Google Chrome will actually translate it for you. You can add all of that junk. I don't want any of it. So process my order. And suspense I know is killing you. Okay, so here are my details. I don't want Coke. I don't have a coupon. I'm picking up in Changanola. Picking, um, picking it up, not eating it, whatever. Order time is now. All right, so all that's good. Continue my order. They have like this chicken bacon ranch that is intriguing to me, but is a little scary, so I haven't tried it yet. So I just stick with pepperoni. All right, finalize it. I have to put in all my information. I'll do that and come back. Okay, so the best part is you don't even have to put in a credit card. You can just pay at the branch if you want to, which we prefer to do. Um, and then just process your order. Goes through. And then what we do is, because it's in the same plaza here, it's like right behind that hotel. But our grocery store is this Romero back here. Where's the sign? I can't see it. Somewhere back there is our Romero. I think it's pointing at it. And then behind that is our bank. So we can do all of that. Look at that. Our order's been placed. And look, they've got the Domino's tracker. It's unbelievable. So now it just tells you like exactly where you are in the process. We'll run in, we'll do our grocery shopping and come back out to a hot pizza. Boom. And here we are. Domino's pizza on my lap. So we can eat it on the way home. Who says that you can't have the American comforts of home in Panama. It's Christmas Eve in the jungle, and I have presents for Popsy and Timo, but I don't have wrapping paper. However, I did come up with a clever idea, and sometimes I get these clever ideas that are kind of creative and they don't really work in the real world. We're gonna see if this idea works in the real world. Okay, so we just came back from Changinola, and we're driving down our property right now and we need to get a few ingredients for this uh, little surprise I have in store. First ingredient, banana leaves. Fortunately, we have more bananas than we know what to do with around here. I mean, there's some there, there's some there, there's some back there, and this is just at the top of the property. Okay, so Brian, you go acquire the banana leaves we need. Just as much as it takes to cut, and Selva's gonna help. She's gonna bring them up here. <laughs> um, Selva's helping, dear. She's taking your banana leaf. <laughs> that dog and plants, she takes her name so literally. Selva, bring me that banana leaf. Selva, bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> All right, so acquiring banana leaves. Okay, so I have lots of red flowers on the property. Of course, there goes the generator. Lots of red flowers on the property. I have these hibiscus over here. That's just one type of hibiscus. I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of other hibiscus. But I think for wrapping purposes to be kind of the bow, that these gingers are gonna be nice. They have a little bit of character to them. They're bright red. All right, Brian, find two super nice ones and chop those off. You want one with a leaf or no? Um, yeah, you can put a leaf on with it, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, oh, see, look how nice that is. Yeah, ooh, that's gonna look good, okay. And then, like maybe that one or, oh yeah, there's some down here too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Perfect, there are our bows. All right, so the next part that I wanted in this was vines to use as the string. So we're gonna cut a few of these 
use those to wrap up our banana leaves. All right, that was a quick and easy harvest. And look, we have vines in red and green. Bonus score. Everything you want, the jungle provides. All right, let's go see if this act idea will actually work. Due to the fact that I am unable to wrap a completely square small package with wrapping paper, a ruler, scissors, and tape, and everything else, it still looks like somebody wadded it up and st stuck something in it. Brian is in charge of this project. I come up with the ideas. He's the implementation man. All right. So we have our presents. Don't tell them. But Popsy and Timo are getting these work lights that Brian and I use. Oh, my gosh. They are fan fantastic they're solar powered there's three different lighting options on them like normal flashlight and this thing will light up a room and then that's for a little bit dimmer and the best thing oh i don't think it shows it on here yeah is this little thing here it has a usb port so they can charge their phones via solar fantastic i'll link them below because they're really cool products we got them on amazon and we use them every day okay brian Alright, so what I think, never doing this, I think what I'm going to do is... What, you've never done this before? <laughs> split these along the spine. Yeah, that seems like a smart idea. Don't worry, we'll fast forward through this. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty easy, yeah? Yes. Okay. And you can beat your dog. <laughs> oh, great. Now we're going to get more YouTube comments about how abusive we are to our animals. Oh, look at that. It's like a Christmas present tamale. Oh, yeah. Like one way that way and one way the other. You can wrap one whole present with one leaf. Ooh, I'm a genius. Okay, oh, that looks good. Check that out. That's looking so good. Perfect. Okay. So now, Vine. Excuse my messy desk. And then make sure before you make the last tie, then we'll put the bow underneath it, yeah. Ooh, you can't pull. <laughs> so rule number one, be super gentle with the twine. Or you'll have a broken vine. See how she did that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just slide this up under there. It just has to set on the table. It doesn't have to be super fancy. Are you trying to say we're not super fancy? <clears throat> have you seen us? Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This is literally the Pan American Highway uh, between Bugaba and David. <laughs> You never know what might cause a traffic jam. Like you expect that in the middle of nowhere, but this is like the major thoroughfare. And they're just wandering down the road completely nonchalant, uncumbered by any of this mess. <laughs> 